So for our Krav Maga today, we're gonna work on our rear choke defense. And um, I wanna give you the reality piece. So when someone comes in and attacks, they're not gonna be standing still, they'll actually be moving forward. So Miss Murray moves her feet. She's gonna bring her arms up, protect, shoulder break. Now she's relying on the twist to give her power on that shoulder break. Now as we act about the distance, the person's gonna be at about hammer strike range. So to be realistic about this, once again, I'm grabbing here, boom. She's breaking, stepping, boom. She's in hammer strike range, and then she's gonna fight back some more. Make sure you realize that as soon as a person realizes the choke's not there anymore, your shoulder break and their hands come off of you, they will retract their hands and they will start to fight back. This is why you go right from the shoulder break immediately to the hammer. So, boom, comes up, turns, boom, hitting right away, because I will be retracting my hands before I get my hands back to defend myself. She is actually already defending, she's attacking me, and then she's making the space she needs to keep her safe. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Okay, team, so we're gonna go right into our Krav Maga techniques, use our bag today. Don't have a bag, don't worry. You can do everything in the air. So what we're gonna study is the right range, the right distance to throw our hammer strike from the backside. So the reason why I'm using the hammer strike sometimes is the distance for him. If we're defending them against more of a bear hug position, I'm gonna throw my elbows going backwards because the distance is right. If I'm at choke range and I try to throw my elbows behind me, I'm gonna miss. So it's really imperative to know when to actually use that backwards hammer. So we're gonna work a little more on, on this distance right now, just have a little fun. So we're gonna try it two different ways. There's one that's ideal, one's the best way to throw it. And then we have ones that you're, you're forced to be in that position, so we're gonna practice that one too. So from our position here, we're gonna have our hands up already. And as I look over my shoulder and I look at my target and get ready to hammer, I'm gonna peep through my Batman techniques, my eyes right over my elbow, so I don't turn, I don't leave with my face. So I'm going to cover up, protect myself, and as I use the rotation of my feet, I'm gonna throw that hammer. Now ideally, I would wanna be able to step and deliver a baseball bat kind of swing technique. So we're gonna try that one first, that's what I really wanna do. So from our stance here, I'm going to cover my face, look over my shoulder towards my target, use that foot on the same side. Same side, I turn, and I'm doing a big hammer strike just like that one. So let's try it 10 times on each side. So go slow first, make sure you have good mechanics, ready? I wanna cover, peek over my shoulder, using my step, and I will drive. That's two, ready? Three. exactly what we're doing. Opposite side, same rule, okay? So, from my hands up, I peek, I get a chance to step through, and I throw that strong hammer, okay? That's one. So from here, peek, turn my foot, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, so when I'm doing this drill, and I can't, I can't actually use like the, the step to get a lot of power. I'm trapped against something. This person grabbing that rear choke, and I am in nice close quarters, so I can't step out. I can't step through. I'm trapped against the wall, the car, the door. I can't really move as much, so I'm forced to use the twist of my feet to get power instead of the rotation using my baseball step in kind of swing. So here's how it's gonna look. So. Still the same process. I'm here, I'm still looking. I don't want to leave with my face, my face out there to get hit. So, arm position, I'm going to go here, cover my face again. I'm going to use my feet. I'm going to use my hips still. I want to use my hips all the time, whether I step or don't step. I'm using my hips is the only thing I have right now because I'm forced to. So, from our stance here, I'm covering up. Nice strong twist and hit. Okay? Three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, opposite side, same exact drill. Don't get fancy, just keep it simple. Twisting your feet, hands up, I cover, use a twist of my feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, team. So now we're going to do a little power from, from either one to be realistic about what we're doing in our in our rear choke. So, like I showed you Miss Murray earlier, when I shoulder break and I'm here, and it rotates very, very similar to what we practice for a regular hammer. And it's up to finish my shoulder break, boom, but I come down with the same kind of motion. Make sure we're not relying on throwing an elbow, okay? We're not going to elbow to the side, elbow down, because that person's choking us in that direction. As soon as we shoulder break and their hand moves, they don't like it, they'll pull their hands back and start fighting back. It's realistic. So, instead of trying to go here, turn, come down, or grab, or anything, so when I feel the arm shoulder break and I'm turning, <clears throat> immediately hammer. So, we got 45, or 30 seconds left now. We're gonna hurry, 10 on each side, ready? So, shoulder break, turn, break the hold, drop the hammer, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, opposite side. Same thing, we're gonna hurry, you got 15 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Hands up, get set, ready? Arm up, shoulder break, ready? Turn, that's one, ready? Shoulder break, two, three, four, five. Uh, out of time. So, you guys can definitely finish your set if you like, but make sure you practice a reality. I know this is not a real person, but make sure you practice like what's actually really gonna work. Remember, this is the biggest thing, make sure when someone's choking you, and you have an awesome shoulder break and they feel their hand getting hurt or it's not working anymore, they're not gonna be like, oh, I give up. And be a zombie and leave their hands there. They can go to the next attack. They're gonna be like, ah, oh, this isn't working. Or, oh, this isn't working. Grab their weapons and they're coming at you. Train for reality. Right from our shoulder break. I'm not relying on stepping across. It's not that realistic just right now. We probably have one foot in front of the other, but we can't choose and rely on turning and destroying that person with that hammer strike from my shoulder break. So, happy training team. Hope you guys are being safe and uh, successful at home. Send me your videos. I wanna see you guys. If you have your bags, I wanna see you destroying them, okay? If you're training with a family member who's holding the shield for you, I definitely wanna see that. We love when families train together, so, all right? Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you.